of course. I mean, let's let's mention him finally. What a what a, a performance again to stand up in, you know, probably the biggest game, the most marquee game of his career. Uh, 13 points, nine rebounds, six assists, career high, five steals. I tweeted this out yesterday after the, the Aaron Gordon steal and the kind of snatch and layup that he had early in the fourth quarter. He'd be so annoying to play against. He'd be so annoying. And the reason was, as I was having this conversation with a mate after the game yesterday as well, there's a lot of annoying guys in the league who would just be frustrating to play against. Like the ultimate one is Jose Alvarado, right, at the Pelicans. Like he's just this small guard who would just frustrate the crap out of you with what he can do defensively, uh, you know, going and standing on the sidelines and then running up behind you and, and trying to steal the ball, uh, you know, just frustrating as hell. But the issue with 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 Jose Alvarado and a number of players, even like a Patrick Beverly type, right? Like they're, no disrespect to them, but they're like real battlers. They're guys that like, they need to fight and scrap and do the little things to be really good in this league uh, and and being annoying is part of that. You can always look at those guys and think, well, when it really comes down to it, I'm a better player than them. So they can frustrate the hell out of me and they're going to annoy the hell out of me, but I'm I'm better than those guys for, for most players. But for pods, like he's equally as annoying and frustrating probably to play against as those guys just with some of the stuff he can do. Like the Aaron Gordon, like snatch and layup, that was a perfect example of it. His ability to draw charges, like that's just annoying to play against. But at the same time, you can't look at pods at, like you can with, you know, Pat Bev or Jose Alvarado and say, I'm better than those guys. Because pods can also handle and battle with you just from a pure skill and talent standpoint. Offensively, he's like a do it all guy. Right. And so I think that would be even more frustrating to be like, okay, this guy's doing the annoying and frustrating stuff that those other guys do, but he's also freaking good. Unlike those two, like Jose Alvarado and Patrick Pepper. Again, like no disrespect to guys like that. But again, they have to fight and scrap. As Pods could be a really good player without doing that stuff. But the fact he does that stuff, the fact he puts his body on the line for to draw charges. The fact he you know tries to get little steals here and there, that you know that just adds to his overall game. Which right now, I mean, he had that tweet before yesterday's game talking about you know going you know his first year in college, you know getting seventeen DNPs or whatever to you know having a, a big role in Santa Clara last season. You know going from a guy who wasn't going to be drafted to all of a sudden a first round pick to a guy that was still questioned after summer league. I questioned him. Um, during and after summer league, and now he's starting for the Warriors. Like it's an unbelievable rise. And I said to someone yesterday, I was like, "This rapid improvement, I suppose, or this rate of improvement over the last two years. What if this just happened? Like this rate of improvement just continues for another year or two, and then all of a sudden you've got like an all-star level player on your hands. And that's such a, a drastic shift from where I initially thought. You know, okay, this guy." could be a nice role player in the league, maybe a nice bench piece to all of a sudden 30 games in, we're saying, okay, now he's all of a sudden a starting caliber player on a team that still harbors championship aspirations. And now the rate of improvement and what he's being able to do, he goes up against the reigning champs yesterday, has 13, nine, six and five steals. And we're saying, like, what, what is the level for this guy? What is the level? And so who knows with what we've seen in terms of the rate of improvement. 